Mary, a notary public at a financial institution, is asked to notarize a corporate resolution that authorizes a company representative, David, to sign loan documents on behalf of the corporation. David provides a valid government-issued ID and the corporate resolution appears complete with all necessary signatures from the company's board of directors. While New York law does not require Mary to verify David's authority to act on behalf of the corporation, she ensures everything is in order before proceeding. What is the best course of action for Mary to take in this situation? Before proceeding to look at the four choices, it's worth noting that under section 182.5 found in the notary public license law booklet, Mary as the notary public is required to obtain satisfactory evidence of identity. And one of those satisfactory evidence of identity is via the presentation of the back and front of a card issued by a governmental agency, which as the question stated was presented here. So with that in mind, let's have a look at the four choices to determine our solution. Choice A states, proceed with notarizing the corporate resolution after confirming David's identity using his government-issued ID. Well, this seems to be the correct solution, but before we mark it as such, let's have a look at the other three choices just to be certain. Choice B states, ask David to provide additional corporate documents to prove his authority before notarizing the resolution. In fact, Mary is under no such obligation. The question itself states that Mary is not under such an obligation and therefore all Mary has to do is confirm David's identity which she has done and can therefore proceed with notarizing and as a result choice B is not the correct solution. Choice C states refuse to notarize the document unless a lawyer from the corporation is present to confirm David's authority. This too is incorrect as I stated before and as the question states Mary is not under an obligation to confirm that authority and certainly there's no obligation to have a lawyer there to confirm his authority and therefore choice C is not the correct solution. And finally choice D states delay the notarization until she can personally verify the signatures of all the board members on the resolution. Once again that's beyond the scope of what's required of Mary and therefore choice D is not the correct solution which indeed leaves choice A proceed with notarizing the corporate resolution after confirming David's identity using his government issued ID as the correct solution.